Hola! My name is Ivana in case we haven't met before and I am in the south of Spain right now which means I can try all of the Spanish desserts. I don't know what's so special about the Spanish desserts but I just saw them in the supermarket and I was like <laughs> they all sound so delicious and non-conventional so let's try them. I'm going to start off with this one, arroz con leche, which is basically rice with milk and I'm guessing it's rice pudding but yeah, you never know. <laughs> That's my experience with these tasting videos. Uh, this is a super traditional dessert and I really, really love this packaging in the little jar. Yeah, I think this is rice pudding. I'm not a fan of rice pudding. So we'll see how this works out. Basically, it's a gooey substance with lots of rice in it. And it's supposed to be sweet, so let's try it. I hate rice pudding. I seriously hate rice pudding. I almost know I actually hate it as much as I hate celery. Oh, I cannot handle like those chunks. Okay, so the flavor is quite good. It's a little bit lemony. It's creamy. No, no. not even take a, gonna take a second bite. I'm, I'm so sorry if you like this, but I hate rice pudding. So this is a zero for me. I hate it. I hope the next one is going to be better. So the next one is Cuya... Uh, cu cuyada. <laughs> uh, no, it's probably supposed to be pronounced like Cujada. Cujada, because the Spanish don't pronounce the J. The leche de oveja <laughs> with some kind of milk. I don't know what this oveja. Is it like a sheep? This does not look tasty to be very honest. Uh, so I see some liquid and something like cheesy. I don't have a problem with cheese. I love cheese but this like as a dessert it does not look tasty. This cannot be a dessert. It is bitter. It's very milky. What the F? I was expecting lots of nice Spanish postres. No, no, no. This is not my jam. I, I don't, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a dessert. It was in the dessert section. So as a dessert, I would give it a one. It's slightly better than the, than the rice pudding, but no, 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 no. Okay, please, please give me something good. So this is natillas, natillas, something like that. De caramelo, something caramel. Come on, man. Come on. I need something good. I do love these little jars. They are so freaking cute. This looks like um, a Dutch product that we have and it's called Fla. And there's caramel at the bottom. So let me just scoop out some of the caramel. Yes. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. It does have a little bit of an eggy flavor, which I don't like. This is so freaking good. Okay. Let me give you a look. So it's super creamy pudding with caramel at the bottom. Can you see that? Oof, this is good, man. Oh, I would give this one a nine. This is very delicious. This is more delicious than flat. It has more flavor. It's more creamy. Oh, yes. I'm going to save the one which I think is best for last. So this is Tarta de Chocolate Blanco. So chocolate with white chocolate pie or something or cake. I don't know. It does look pudding in again. And this one, crema de queso con tocino de cielo y piñones. I like my Spanish, man. This is, I'm guessing, cheesecake, but not like traditional cheesecake with, I don't know, pine nuts or something. Okay, this does not look good. I'm sorry, but this looks like plain food. Okay, like, you know those lasagnas you get sometimes in a plane? I see a couple of pine nuts. Oh, gosh, no. So there's like a caramelly... See that liquid at the bottom? Gosh, no. Mm, mm. It tastes quite okay, I have to say. It's definitely not as good as cheesecake, but I can handle this. Pine nuts are really needed. Mm. I would give this one a seven. No, no, six. It's definitely something I can eat, but it's not something I would pick again. And now time for the last one. Tata de chocolate blanco. Come on, man. Okay. So it's some kind of white chocolate mousse-ish thingy with a cookie at the bottom. That's what I saw a lot with these desserts. They're, they put like a whole cookie on top, like a butter cookie. Let me try. Oh, this is quite firm. Oh, there's another layer. Oh, it's like a, a two cookie layers. Mmm. Yes, this one is good again. Mm. It has a little bit of a cheesecake vibe about it. Mm. I would give this one a seven. 
It's definitely not as good as I expected it to be, but it is quite delicious. And the texture is, is quite firm. I expected it to be a little bit more moussey, so that's why the seven. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to travel along with me, click that subscribe button and you can also put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!